Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, uh, we will be making this beautiful lamp assembly in Fusion 360. But before that, uh, let me make myself clear that I will be making this whole video in two part cuts because uh, making it in a single uh, video would take very much time. So what I'm going to do is in our first part, we will be making the base, this stand, this stand and this the cup holder. And in the later part of the video, I'm, that means the second part, we will be making this glass and the filament and these... Uh, wiring so hope you guys will enjoy the video let's get started without wasting any time so let me just press shift and, and to enable the, to let you guys have the have a clear view of what we are going to make so basically it's a simple stand you can you guys can able to manufacture it using a simple welded parts or wood anything the design is quite simple yet attractive so let's again press shift and end to make the lamp more realistic so Let's get started, switch to New York Space. Uh, we will be starting by making the base, then we will move forward to this one, this one, this one, two, three, four part, we will be making the first video. And then on the second, we will be working on the filament and the world part. So click on create a sketch. And on the <coughs> front plane, we will be start by making a rectangle. So draw a rectangle like this. Press D for dimension and give the length as 160 mm and the width as 50 mm like this. Okay, no, 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 no. Just delete this. Uh, this is going to be 8 mm. The width is going to be 8 and the length is going to be 60 now you may finish the sketch once done click on extrude and extrude it like this and the direction would be symmetric because i because the uh, we will be making the whole assembly symmetric to the origin plane that that uh, and the reason for doing that that it will be uh, easy for us to mirror any component in future if we want so what i'm going to do is the measure is uh, extend uh, the measurement to uh, the half length or the whole length select on whole length and it will ask you about the whole length so this is going to be 50 like this and click on new component and press ok now press shift n uh, to automatically enable the fusion to adapt the uh, default color now click bring back the origin like this again click on create a sketch or on the front plane like this we'll be making some few sketches so for that click on line and click on and from this point draw a line like this without having any angle press d for dimension give this a length of 170 mm like this and press d for dimension again and click on this line and i don't know why it's not snapping let me just check okay press d for dimension and select on this edge and this line and give this an angle of 117.5 degrees that's 117 117.5 now once done go to create uh, and go to we need to offset so yeah here it is the offset select on this and offset it up to a distance of 40 mm so make it 40 like this and press ok now once done press l for line and select a, uh, make a line like this press d for dimension and give uh, the angle between this give this as 70 degrees now once done press T for trim and delete these extra lines and press L for line and connect these two points so that we have, may have a close sketch. Once done, you may finish the sketch. Now, now click on extrude and again repeat the same step like we did before. This is going to be symmetric, extent will be whole length and the distance would be, make it 5, 5 mm and this is going to be our new component and press ok now we have two component 
uh, don't forget to make it fix with that so revert it back you can all anytime just right click on this and you can ground it so that it won't be able to move so let me just ground this also now let's move to the third part click on create a sketch and on the center plane again start by making a sketch so this time press L for line uh, press P for project and click on this line and project it like this press L for line and draw a line parallel to this once done press L again and from this line draw another parallel line backwards like this click on offset command and offset this line up to a distance of 20 mm upwards like this and make it 20 mm upwards like this also like this press L for line join these two lines now once done press D for dimension and from this point to this point give this a dimension of okay okay something went wrong what I'm going to do is to delete this line and delete this one to this one this one also and this one make a single line from here to here press D for dimension and select on this line and give this a dimension of 242 mm like this and from this point to this point uh, give this dimension as 40 mm like this beautiful and now offset this line up upwards okay okay let me just do the do another thing press L4 line and draw a parallel line like this okay I think I did something wrong what I'm going to do is is I'm going to delete the entire sketch and we will be start making again press and delete now what I'm going to do is we will start making a line like this make a line anywhere press uh, go to constraint go to parallel constraint select this line and this line and again go to coincidence select this line and this line go to coincidence select this line okay oh look okay, coincident this was this one and this point so you make the line coincident with them press D for dimension select this dimension as 242 mm press D again and click on this line this line and this dimension as 40 mm now again click on offset and offset it upwards up to a distance of minus 20 like this click on L line and draw a line like this press D for dimension and from this point to this point give it a dimension of 70 degrees press T for trim and delete not this one just undo it press T for trim and delete these extra lines once done what I'm going to do is on top of this line press L for line and again draw a line like this again press T and from this point to the our mother line uh, make this angle as 110 that 110 degrees and then extend this line to the uh, the that line and press T for trim like this once closed finish the sketch click on extrude like we did earlier click on new component the direction would be symmetric and the distance would be whole this is going to be 5 and press ok now we have three different structure now what I'm going to do is is to make the cup holder right here so click on create a sketch click on the mid plane of course again and then what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to create a line 
like this and again I am going to give it a parallel relationship with this line and make it coincident with this one. Now once done press D for dimension and give this a dimension of 70 mm and from this point to this point give this a dimension of 20. Now once done press offset and offset it upwards up to a distance of 21 like this and press line and join these two point like this that we have a close sketch finish the sketch this time we will be going for revolve select the uh, the profile would be selected just select this and the axis would be this line and this is going to be our new component and the angle would be 360 degrees of course and click on ok now go to shell go to modify go to shell select this sketch and i'm going to be making it a hollow cylinder of inside thickness of 2 mm like this and press ok now once done again click sketch on this uh, circle press C for circle like this and make a dia of 10 mm like this and extrude it upwards up to a distance of 18 mm like this again click on sketch and again press C for circle this time the dia is going to be 8 mm and click on finish the sketch and this time we will be making a hole through it so just drag it out and the direction would be cut and ok now press F for fillet select this edge and this edge to give it a fillet of 1 mm and press ok now so this is done so hope you guys will enjoy uh, this is this was the first part of the video and later part of the video we will be making this bulb, the filament and the filament present inside it and the wiring. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.